Joining us now is Democratic Congressman Ro Khanna of California. He's a member of the Congressional Progressive Caucus. Uh, so uh, where are we? And uh, I know no one wants to talk the number and everyone wants to talk the specifics. So where are we on the specifics? And let me begin with climate. Uh, Joe Manchin could be the defining vote in the Senate on what's possible on the climate provisions in this legislation. Has the president told you on in the, in the progressive side where Joe Manchin is and, and where this bill might have to end up on climate issues. Lawrence, we're overall in a good place. The president was very candid. Uh, for example, he said that the clean energy program probably will not make it in. There will be a lot of tax incentives for solar and wind. But there was a candid conversation about how we're going to ensure that we hit the president's goal by 2030 of reducing emissions by 50 percent. He's open to ideas. And whatever we propose, obviously, he needs to sell to Senator Manchin. But that is one place where we still need to negotiate and come to consensus. And what about timing on this? It seems, it, it sounds like everyone is kind of realizing that you, you members, uh, House and Senate, are looking at this from an outside world perspective and starting to notice that it looks very messy and slow. And it, it seems like you're all tending toward an agreement of, let's get an agreement, let's get this done as fast as we can. Lawrence, that's right. I'll tell you what convinced me. I'm not for this October 31st arbitrary deadline, but the president looked us in the eyes and said, you can't have me go to Glasgow empty handed. That will damage the United States leadership. That will damage our progress on climate. I need a deal. I need to show that American democracy is working. I need to show that the Democrats can govern. I saw people shaking their heads. I think the president making that direct and ask, it was clear he was super engaged, knew the details of every policy. I believe he's going to get it across the finish line before he leaves. And by that, uh, it sounds like we mean a deal, an announceable uh, an, a deal that everyone can, not necessarily the complete series of votes that would legislate that deal. Or it's honestly, there's some difference of opinion on that in the caucus. My view is the president said, I will give you my word. I will give you my word if we have 50 votes uh, and you can take that to the bank. I trust the president. I think if the president comes out and says, I guarantee you this is going to pass the Senate without any drama of amendments, that's good enough. We can get it done. And so what is next? What, we know what the meetings were today. Do you, do you have a sense of what has to happen next to get to an agreement? Lawrence, the president has to engage the two senators, Senator Sanders as well, and come up with a framework. And then we all need to really go out and tell people what's in this bill. First, we need to make it clear that this is less than 2% of our GDP. It's a very small investment, as rich a country as we are, and every American is finally going to get to go to preschool in this country. Every person, every family is going to get childcare. Seniors are going to get dental benefits, vision, hearing. Uh, we can afford this, Lawrence, as the richest country in the world. It's time we do this, and I'm proud to be a, a part of a Congress that's going to get this done. Congressman Ro Khanna, thank you very much for joining us again tonight. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.